Hey, uh, so I should be able to kill this off in, in three different demos. Um, so this is kind of an Azul-ish environment. Uh, this game object has a sound call, and uh, at runtime it asks the sound engine to uh, create this to attach the sound call to its ID. And uh, the sound engine houses the ring buffer and the audio thread, and uh, the sound call commands talk to the audio thread via the sound engine. Um, and so in this first one, this this playlist here has a bunch of commands in it. Uh, so, uh, so it'll just fire off a bunch of different stuff. It does the transitions, does some pitch and volume stuff, um, and this is not this stuff yet. It's all sound designer defined stuff, so I'll play that quick. And uh, magic key to start the thing is Q, um, just because there's a scene change. <laughs> Also, when the ship got really big there, that was uh, because of this. This uh, it was the communication back from the audio thread to the game thread, um, and it just fired off this command the gameplay programmer wrote. Um, and so now, if I do this, you can also you don't need to use the sound designer script exclusively. You can also, as a gameplay programmer, um, have these little large these knobs here um, to mess with it and this just also sends thread commands over the wire so if I do this it, it's a shorter demo uh, but it'll, it'll pause and then resume and then do some attributes Half the pitch, half the volume, pan to the left speaker. Uh, and then the last one is the track system, or the uh, priority track system. Um, this is just, I have this little demo here. Um, so what should happen is it'll try to make all these sounds um, up to the, the maximum number of voices that I defined in a voice factory. and. Uh, it should be able to get all of these, and then when it tries to get one more at a lower priority, this should not work. So, do that. Let me go down here. Air is still okay, but then when we try to do one more here, uh, you get no track, and you can't play it. And that's all of my demos.